let's take a look at the demo code for the STD uh, list. This is um, available there in Blackboard. And the first part of this code just simply reads a bunch of names to the file. Let's look at those. Here's the names.txt file, and you'll see it's got 200 names in it. So the first part is just going to read all of those into a quick array. That's just so we can populate our data structure later. Now here in line 19, we are creating our list. And in this case, we're just going to keep a list of customers. The, uh, the order matters. And that's why we can uh, use a list. Um, the, uh, in this case, we're just going to uh, record a list of customers in the order that they were served. And then afterward, you know, we can take a list and sort it, even though uh, if you want to talk about sorting a collection of elements, yeah, then you might want to start looking at a, at a set, especially if you want to deduplicate it. So um, here we start with this code block that just simply puts um, a bunch of customers, uh, a random number, in fact, between 5 and 12, and puts them into the list. Now, at the bottom of the code here, I've got all of the popular, uh, more common uh, member functions for the, uh, the STLs list. And we see here that just like we remember from um, dealing with vectors, that we have got these push back and pop back and push front and pop front uh, uh, methods available. Uh, the vector just had push back and, um, and pop front. But uh, we've got all of those available to us, which is a, a great tool to leverage. And here in the start of the code, we're doing exactly that. We're just calling push back and we're going to just take some random element in that names array, and that's what we're going to put into the uh, into this the list. Then we're just going to output the list. In this case, we are outputting using a range space for loop, and just take a look at that um, that structure. The syntax is the exact same thing that we saw with vectors and also with uh, with array class arrays. And now we can use those with, um, with the standard template libraries list. Um, it makes it very easy to just step through the array. It gives us this variable right here uh, that we can uh, use to reference the elements as we go through it. Now, I did uh, mention that you can um, sort lists. And so if you do need to do that, you can just call the listName.sort. Uh, in this case, I have created a second list here based on the first list. And in this case, you can create a list using this syntax here, and that uses the lists constructor. If you give it another list, it's just going to create a, an exact copy of that list. And it does a deep copy, so you don't have to worry about any um, interconnections there. Then. Here's a look at our code that's sorted, and sure enough, we look at the, the code that is sorted. Now, I did want to point out another way to output um, list elements, and it's shown here in the code, and it's way down here. And rather than using a range space for loop, this is just going to use an iterator that will step through just like a pointer does, just at the beginning and go all the way through to the end. And um, every time through, it's going to uh, advance that iterator. And then note here that the way to dereference whatever it's pointing to is just going to be uh, using the uh, the reference operator there, the dereferencing operator asterisk uh, in front of the iterator's name.